Okay, so today's gonna be a little bit of a different video, guys, because I don't even have time for a proper intro because we got just too much really exciting stuff to talk about, and today we're gonna be specifically talking a lot about Intel GPUs. Now, you guys know I've been following Intel GPUs for a long time. I think they're very, very exciting, and it could be just the thing to save us from this horrible situation we're in between NVIDIA and AMD, and their absolutely ridiculous prices. Not only do they have a ton of really interesting stuff to talk about when it comes to their current GPUs, but there's also a lot of really cool information about their future GPUs that's been going around as well. But let's start off by talking about their current GPUs because guys, they have something going on right now that is absolutely insane. And I cannot believe more people are not talking about this right now. And that's their Intel balanced builds. Now you might have heard about this maybe in passing, but I do want to go into it because the amount of money that you can save on this new deal that they're running right now is absolutely crazy. So essentially what their Intel balanced builds are is not only are their Intel GPUs heavily being discounted it seems like almost on a monthly basis at this point and you know like their arc a750 i've seen as low as 200 dollars but also you can go ahead and pair them with an intel cpu to save even more money so for example if we go ahead and we take a look over at micro center you can currently get and this is crazy an intel arc a750 limited edition and a 12600k for a total of get ready $386.97. Now, that is an absolutely insane deal because effectively what we're talking about here is you're paying $250 for the ARC A750 and then you're essentially getting an i5 12600K for around roughly $130. I don't think I've seen even secondhand deals that come anywhere close to how good this really is. And not only is it going to be happening at Micro Center here, guys, because I hear you. Yes, not everybody lives near a Micro Center. If we take a look at Newegg, for example, they also have a ton of deals going on with the ARC GPUs. Not only are there price drops, but you can also combo this up with Intel CPUs for further savings. And the best combo that I found so far was for $500, you're getting a 12700K and you're getting an Intel ARC A770 graphics card. So as you can see, like I mentioned, this is not just happening at Micro Center, it's happening at a lot of places and it doesn't stop there. When we talk about their current GPUs, there's even more deals to be had because if you're someone who maybe doesn't want to build your own system or you don't want to upgrade, upgrade and you want somebody else to build your system, these Intel balance builds also filter into pre-built PCs. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there do like to build your own PCs, and that's why I wanted to go ahead and show you the combo deals first and just the amount of discounts that can be had on these GPUs, such as, again, if you find an RK750 for 200 bucks, especially if they're still throwing in all that free software, that's crazy. You're basically getting that GPU almost for free, but again, let's go ahead and take a look at some of their pre-built PCs because if we take a look, for example, over on places like SkyTech Gaming, you can actually get a pre-built PC, a whole PC, with actually pretty decent specs, an i5, you know, a decent amount of RAM, that sort of stuff, and you're getting an Intel Arc GPU in A750 for just $950 and free shipping. And yes, I'm sure you could go ahead and build something cheaper if you were to be very, very scrappy and buy used parts and this and that. But to get somebody to build your PC for you and you get Windows and potentially all kinds of other stuff with it for just $950 and you don't have to pay for shipping, that's absolutely crazy. In fact, it's so good that I reached out to Intel to see if they could go ahead and get one of these systems sent over to me. And to my surprise, yes, they were gracious enough to go ahead and do so. So today, we're going to be taking a look at one of these systems real quick to see, you know, how good are these pre-built gaming PCs and should you buy one? So let's go ahead and do just that. I believe this is tempered glass, so that's a good start. Okay, so this is actually a really good way of protecting all the components inside, so I'm glad to see they're doing that. And I'm also glad to see that you're actually getting what appears to be a custom version of an Intel Arc GPU. And if you can see it real well here, hopefully you can, it actually looks really, really good inside. Now, the one thing I would like to see improved here is go ahead and get some sort of a cover over these actual SSDs, as I do believe it would make it look a lot better. You can see it does actually come with an AIO, which is nice to see. And also the memory layout actually looks really, really clean. And you can be sure that it is gonna have good performance in this layout. 
although it could potentially be affecting the maximum amount of overclock you're gonna get out of it as filling all four DIMM slots does tend to reduce the memory overclocking capabilities. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the back to see how they did on the wiring. What we're taking a look at here is a 600 watt power supply. It does not appear to be module, so there will be a lot of cords hanging around, probably a cost cutting decision there and upgradability will be impacted by that smaller power supply. So I would like to see a little bit higher capacity power supply in the future. Otherwise, the cable management is pretty well done. Was everything put together correctly? Looks like that's gonna be a yes. No fire hazards here, thankfully. That's off to a great start. Okay, yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention is they do actually give you quite a few accessories, which is really nice here. This kind of feels membrane to me. You get a little mouse as well. That's pretty nice. All right, so we got everything connected. Now for the moment of truth, will it turn on? Press the power button and let's find out. And here we are, we're in the BIOS. Come on, yeah, there we go. Has XMP been enabled? And the answer is yes. So good job, Skytech. Okay, so there it is, resizable bar support enabled and all the other settings for it are enabled. So that's really, really good. Great job, Skytech. You got everything set up correctly. Now let's check if the drivers are up to date. Unfortunately, it looks like the drivers are way out of date. And guys, this is really, really important because if you've watched my videos on Intel Arc, you'll know that the Intel Arc drivers have made a huge difference in the performance of these GPUs. The Arc A770, for example, I found to be way faster, probably closer to like an RTX 3060 Ti or maybe even a little bit faster on average now versus at launch, it was closer to an RTX 3060. So just because of drivers, they could be getting that much more performance right out of the box. And unfortunately, without those drivers, they wouldn't even know it. And as you can see, it is pretty simple to update. You just check for updates on the Intel Arc control panel. So that's definitely something that should be done. And I would like to see SkyTech improve upon that in the future. Now, we could go ahead and run all kinds of benchmarks, but I don't wanna make this video super, super long. You guys know how an Arc A750 performs. You know how an Arc A770 performs. I'm not seeing any issues with the system right now. You know, if you want me to release some benchmarks in the future or something, go ahead and put it in the comments. But in terms of the PC itself, I think it looks really good. I think for the most part, they did a pretty good job. I just want to recap a couple things they could improve. One, I'd like to see a higher capacity power supply. Two, I'd like to see them, you know, cover up that SSD. And then three, I would like to see maybe a few more fans because if they were able to put two fans on the top, I do think it would help move the air a little bit better as in these smaller cases, it is important to get very good airflow, but it's nice to see that you're getting a water cooler and plenty of memory for the system and all that sort of stuff. Overall, I don't really have a whole lot of complaints. I think for the price that you're getting these, you're getting a lot of value. The only other complaint I would make is maybe, you know, hey, you are getting a keyboard and mouse and it's hard to complain about it, but you know, it's member Brain. It's not real great. It doesn't feel great. Neither does the mouse. So yeah, I would suggest getting a new keyboard and mouse, but hey, at least they give you one. And overall guys, I am going to say this is actually a pretty good package, but I do also want to talk about real quick Battle Mage because it's exciting to see, you know, how much value they're bringing with their Arc GPUs. And this is where the discussion around Battle Mage really begins because if we're getting this much value out of their cards now, what is it going to look like with Battle Mage? And what we do know with Battle Mage is that it is likely going to be having around double the amount of shaders on their top end card, or at least those are the latest leaks and rumors from people such as Red Gaming Tech. It sounds like 16 gigabytes of VRAM is gonna be their top end. Maybe they'll go for 32, but it's sounding like 256 bit bus. So we're probably talking, you know, 16 gigabytes of VRAM again, if they wanna keep the prices down. And speaking of keeping the prices down, the performance of this thing, we're talking around 4070 Ti, maybe theoretically as fast as a 4080. And I am expecting it to come in somewhere between 500 to $600 if this same amount of value is applied to their Battle Mage cards. And this is why I talk about Intel Arc a lot, because it's exciting to see what you can get now, especially for entry-level gaming or mid-range gaming. They got a lot of really, really great options, as you've seen. And if this does continue into Battle Mage, this is gonna be a really exciting upcoming year for GPUs, as we'll finally have someone who's serious in the GPU market about bringing value back and allowing gamers to get a good put together system without breaking the bank. 
But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that buying one of these SkyTech systems really is a good deal or maybe buying one of their bundles? Or do you think you're better off buying secondhand parts? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.